from the secure room in the bowels of Casa Bouchard. This is me, Al Bouchard. Once again, trying to give you my perspective on things. A bit of a skewed perspective, perhaps, but nonetheless, we have reached a point where anything the president says needs to be fact checked, grammar checked, and basically checked to see if it's illegal, immoral, or fattening. I would I would wager to say that uh, very little of what he says is fattening, except for his wallet. But then again, there are wheels within wheels always. I trust the current occupant of the White House about as far as I can throw the Washington Monument. And I was not born on the distant planet Krypton. And I do not have more power than a locomotive. So that gives you an idea of about how much I do trust him. If he said it was raining outside, I'd have to look out the window. He has done an excellent job screwing the country. He has screwed his supporters in the coal industry. I mean, coal was part of the backbone of this country, but coal ain't never coming back, friends. We get most of our steel from overseas. We get almost all of our electronics from overseas. We invented the damn things, and everybody else builds them. We have virtually nil when it comes to manufacturing capability here in the U.S. And what it is is a shame and a crime. One could even call it a high crime, which according to the Constitution is impeachable. So is obstruction of justice. Uh, so is ab attempting to obtain foreign help to gain a thing of value. The 2020 election is a good example of that. The man is basically the biggest traitor since Benedict Arnold. Some people would say the Rosenbergs, but uh, I have my doubts about the trials and execution of the Rosenbergs. Uh, until I see something more definitive, uh, that's not going to convince me much. I am someone who believes in the Constitution of the United States, the rule of law, and the principle that no one is above the law. Richard Nixon wasn't, and 45 isn't. And the people who still believe in him and slavishly follow his every word. I've heard it said that uh, those who follow Trump have taken on the trappings of a cult. I would have to agree with that. And being a recovering Catholic, that ain't gonna work for me. Uh, I, mean, I am a science fiction reader and science fiction fan. The attempts of Scientology over the years to convince me to join their cult didn't work because I've read too much and experienced too much to be an ideal candidate for one of their sessions. Uh, to my mind, L. Ron Hubbard was a decent writer of the pulp era spanning many genres, but the most successful fabrication that he did was fabricating the myths and practices of Scientology on Dianetics out of whole cloth, because I don't plan to give up rational thought and the ability to make my own decisions, handing it over to some higher authority, like a pastor, or a bishop, or even the Pope. Now, when it comes to my religious beliefs, I believe what I believe, I determine what I believe, and if it doesn't work, I change it. Simple enough. I've even found some of the other, quote, joke, end quote, religions, like, uh, the worship of Bob, or the flying spaghetti monster, or even Lovecraft's Cthulhu, to have their good points, but none of them suffice. 
So I am totally responsible for what I believe in and what I practice. I mean, I don't help someone who is in need just because I've been told to or that I will accru- that I will accrue some benefit in the life hereafter. I do it because it's the right thing to do. I don't even do it to be thanked for it. The th- to be thanked for doing something like that is... That's gravy. That, that's extra. You do it because it's the right thing to do. So, having made a few statements like this, and after I'm going to massage it in the editing somewhat, I'll be able to say that for this time, and this place, that's a wrap.